Love in the evening. I said evening. Love in the evening. Love in the morning. Love when you making coffee. Love in the evening. Love at night. Love is feeling so right. I said, uh, love is feeling so right. One more time. Love is feeling so right. This is the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network. I'm your host, the Pat Man, and this show is about love. We're going to talk about what the meaning of love is. Because I think everybody got a different meaning, so you can't really define it. Music Soul Child, he uh, he made a song about love. So many things I gotta tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how to share it with you. Something like that, I don't remember. I'm gonna let this ride for a minute. We're gonna talk about love on the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network. I'm your host, the Pat Man. Stay by, stay tuned. We talk about love. In case you didn't hear that the first time. All right, here we go. That's a wild one right there. That's a wild one. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. I have no idea. It's uh, it's funky. And it's about love. This is the Intelligent Human Voice Broadcast Network. I'm your host, the Pat Man from the Bay to L.A. and beyond. The subject that people are asking today and every day is what is the meaning of love? Well, Some Yahoo said the definition of true love means never having to say you're sorry or so the famous line from the movie love story goes. But I wouldn't ask to define what true love is. Even the experts have to pause and think, "Mm, what is love? Perhaps it's because true love has a different meaning for different people. This is so true, people. It's so true. Why, I remember at one time in our household, we never spoke the word. Nope, nope. Never spoke the word love, not once. Until I was, uh, you know, dating this one chica. And she would come through like, oh, hello, mommy, love you. Oh, I love you, love you. I'd be like, wow, I've never, I've never heard that before in this household. You know, different, hey, different people. Some people express the love. They give you a hug. They they put clothes on your body and they take care of you. And they's like, look, that's love. Why do I got to speak it? I don't feel like speaking. I don't want to speak it. So I end up taking on that kind of thing, you know, growing up in, uh, in relationships. It was hard for me to say, yo, baby, I love you. I love you, baby. You know, I love you. I love you, baby. You know, I love you and. I can't stop loving you. Well, that's lust, people. That's lust. Stop lying. I was just told, you know, like I said, I, was, I grew up around a lot of women, and I just felt like, you know, just can't just be saying that to any old body. You know what I mean? So let's let's continue to see what people are saying about, you know, what what is real love? What is the real love? Um, someone says... Uh, it wants to be present and be together. When people are in love, sometimes they think that they don't have uh, to do that anymore. Uh, they don't have to put in the work. But real love actually enjoys giving attention to another person. It feels good. And uh, yeah, well, let's talk about things that you might love. You might love. Like I love to eat. I love to eat good. I love to eat good all the time um i love to turn the microphone on and just start recording random stuff i love to do that it's a passion it's a thing that i like to do um love can be involuntary you know you can 
have a strong sense of desire for somebody or something and not really, you know, be like, oh, I love that. Oh, some people like love and it's painful to them. Said love. This other guy said love. Love itself doesn't hurt. Uh, it is growth that hurts the ego that stings each transformation is painful because the old situation is being left behind for the new some people just have all the answers man some people just have all the freaking answers man it's it might be true for some people love hurts we have old love situations people we've been in love with and then we're out of love with, and then we try to bring somebody else into that, that missing void to love them. And that love isn't the same as that person. And then you fall out of love. And he said, love makes the world go round. I think love is what we need right now in America. We need more love. We need more people hugging, more people loving. How about that? We need more people saying lovely things on Facebook, on you know Instagram, uh, and it just so happened. I, I mean, I chose this title not because Valentine's Day is around the corner. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna share with you a few stories, real stories, real true stories. There's a, a, a thing that I'm gonna do is called true stories, but I gotta tell these stories because it's revolved around this why I dislike or why I dis I, I like it now. It's okay. It's I'm over it. But at one point I just did not care for Valentine's day. And the last time I participated in a Valentine's event, it was Amore. Amore's Valentine show. He does this show every year. Um, my buddy Eric. And, um, I went and I actually went by myself, you know, I had a tux on, bow tie, hung out for a minute, you know, it was kind of weird, um, you know, there was, there was a lot of women there, but I didn't stay long enough, because I just felt weird, I was by myself, and yeah, that's, that's but it was, it was a fun thing, let me share this story with you, um, many moons ago, I was the first, first few years in college, I uh, met this young lady, I'm, I think I might have met her at a party, Anyway, we hit it off. We hit it off real, real cool. And, and Valentine's Day was coming up, right? So, um, you know, we messed around, whatnot. And then she, uh, there's that word again, whatnot. And, uh, you know, she went away to college and we stayed writing each other. And I sent her a love basket. Oh, it was just a thoughtful thing. I was like, this is what guys do, right? I, I would see these movies where, you know, these guys are going crazy over, you know, uh, I would give my mom stuff for Valentine's Day, but I'd never go out on a limb to do this. So I put together an actual basket. I put, it was a, a CD, like a limited edition CD. I got two of them. It was a CD. I remember the CD too. It was like uh, Spike Lee had put it together and, and it was a bunch of artists and I was like, oh, okay, I grow my CD. I think it was two of them. Someone stole the other one. Anyway, I sent it to her. It was like some 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 smell good stuff, some oils, some, you know, uh, um, like some body gloves. You can wash your body right. And uh, I think she, you know, she she took it like I was some kind of sucker because, you know, next thing you know, she's telling me that she can't, uh, you know, she thought I was what we used to call sprung. I wasn't sprung. I was just being Valentine, dude, you know? And, uh, you know, she broke up with me over a letter, you know, in a letter. Oh, I think this has to end. Uh, yeah, get over me. I'm I'm off in college anyway. This This will never work. I was like, it'll be a cold day in hell. And <laughs> the next time I put together a love basket, but, you know, did it again, did it again. And, uh, uh, yeah, this one, uh, this one was weird too. So it was, it was actually this girl. I, I wasn't, I kept being peer pressured to talk to this girl. And I was like, she's cute, but oh, I'm not here for that. I'm trying to get my work done anyway. 
Um, I ended up playing the piano for, her, and I was I was just taking piano lessons, so I didn't really know how to play. But I played a few tunes, a few keys, and then sang and made up some words, and I got some flowers and some chocolate, and and uh, and I didn't I didn't hear for from her for a couple of days, you know. After that, I was like, yo, you know, I I, I spent mad loot. Mad loot, mad loot for for you, for you, for my intelligent audience. Uh, mad doesn't mean I, I had angry loot. It means mad. It's slang as in, you know, good, a lot of. So I had mad loot <laughs> that I'd spent on, on her having this movie like Valentine's Day. And it was just totally unappreciated. So after that, I was like, you know what? I'm over it. I'm not. I'm not doing it anymore. And I would drive, you know, drive through town and I'd see the balloon guys with the balloons and the and the and the stuffed bears and all I could do is just shake my head like, dude, there's no way you're gonna sell all those bears and and balloons and no one's buying it, man. He, he, watch they'll, they'll be out there again. They'll be out there on on the fourteenth this week, you know, selling balloons and and, and flowers and stuff and people do it out of peer pressure I guess I don't know I don't know I, I won't be doing it again I, I won't say I won't be doing it again I, it'll, it'll be a cold day a very cold day before I do it again you know really uh great idea we had one year um I was this while I was in the relationship uh we all you know, didn't really care for the whole Valentine's Day thing as well. It's like a thing that, you know, people are like uh, the Grinch that stole Valentine's Day. Um, so we all had this idea, you know, guys and girls, to do a hike. So we did a Valentine's Day hike. And afterwards, you know, that hike kicked kicked booty. I can't say it. It kicked booty. And... um then it went from, oh, all right, well, what are we doing later? What what are you doing later? Oh, nothing, nothing. It turned into a potluck. And I was like, geez, all right, we just did this hike. Now we're about to eat food, whatever. And the day just goes on and on. And we're spending like the whole day together from morning. And I was just exhausted. So peep this. Like you're ready, you know, I, and, and, and to tell the truth, I've been exhausted up until that day. I, I wasn't even down for the hike, but I went anyway. I wasn't down for going to do this potluck thing because I was just tired from days before. I hadn't gotten any rest, hadn't gotten any sleep. And I told my girl this. I was like, yo, I'm tired. I'm beat. I'm burnt. Whatever. You know, we, we didn't hiked and this, that, and the other. I'm going to drop you off and I'm going home. She was like, what? I thought I was coming over. I was like, nah, I'm... Look, we spent the whole day together, the whole day, an unplanned day. It was a great day. No, I need, I really need to sleep. So she got in my car, she slammed my door and was pissed off. I was like, wow. Um, there I was just being, you know, Valentine-y again. And, you know, I get my door slammed and, uh, you know, it was totally unnecessary. I think this is, uh, this is where we, uh, part separate ways so um the show is all about love and love means something different to everybody so you know um I do apologize for you know not having my girlfriend at the time come over but I was really really tired and I knew if she could if she come over we wasn't gonna sleep ain't gonna be no nobody sleeping on Valentine's Day after hiking and and eating food you're not sleeping it's just not gonna happen but I get it at the time, I was just very tired, and I just wanted to close my eyes and get in my own bed. Yeah, so. This has been fun. Very fun. This is the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network, and we're talking about love. Love means something different to everybody. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Don't rush into love. And make sure it's not lust. There's a difference. There's a difference. You're lusting up on somebody. Stop lusting. Stop lusting. All that lusting. Y'all better stop all that lusting. Mm-hmm. Don't put your eye out. All that lusting. I'm the Pat Man. This is the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network. 
stay tuned for our next show. All right? Peace, love, and soul.